Warning, 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 The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building. TV is in the building. Yeah, we up here. That's right, that's right. Have fun this weekend. I had a blast, man. Shout out to everybody that was in LA, in LA showing love. I was there for the BET weekend. K Slay, you was there oh, come on, as man. well. Ugly. Super ugly, but in yeah. a good way, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. people were showing mad love. Mm -hmm. Just to be out west and to be out there with you was amazing. You helped me out a lot. You already know what it is. Shout out to everybody at Citric TV. Killing that radio room. Hey, Slay was there snatching Beasted. up the artist for me, bringing them to my Citric TV table. Beasted. Like, go holler at Jazzy Bell. You know, so shout out to everybody that slid through the table. French Montana. Uh, Kimberly Elise, y'all know her from Set It Off. She was the one like, I need this money. You know that with the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now you keep saying that. I keep saying Diary of a Mad Black Woman. The yeah. way she was beating that nigga ass. <laughs> yeah, because you know I don't know, know why you keep that, going there. Like, because you a guy, you know about that crucial scene in the movie when she threw the nigga in the tub. Man abuse. <laughs> man abuse, yo. But he deserved it, though. Yo, yeah. no, he didn't. Nah, he deserved if that. If a one. nigga's kicking you out, leave. He got another chick, leave. Have some pride and dignity. Go. Leave. And she did leave. But as soon as you down and under and you try to chill with the yes. white chick and you kicked her out for the yes. snow bunny or he, for the light skinned chick, and when she came back, yo, he you wanted her to come back to take to, care of you. He had to drag her out the door. Right. Like she was like holding on for dear life. But who was holding on for dear life and was there helping you holding on for dear life? It was her character. So the least she could have did was throw your crippled ass in the hot tub. I'm just saying. Nah, she tried to kill her, man. <laughs> Fuck all that shit. That nigga almost drowned. Yo. She was there. That nigga she was spitting up bubbles life. like a fucking guppy. <laughs> See Yo. motherfucking water bubbles coming up, man. She did them dirty, y'all. That Word was up. a crazy movie, but yeah, shout out to her. She's like one of my favorite. Yeah, everybody at the table. We had Anthony Hamilton stop by. We had uh, motherfucking um, she, we had game stop by. Shout out to the game, yeah. Um, he what's the other? Uh, what's the other motherfucker? Jadena stop by. That's the classic man. The nigga with the orange hair. Yeah, yeah, like brown like red hair. Yeah, yeah. he be dressed like an old school pimp. Right, right, Word from up. the early 1900s yeah, yeah, or something yeah. like that. He was yeah. really cool. Yeah, Andrea Day, uh, shoot, Kirk Franklin came through. Erica Campbell, Bobby Brown came through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bagged Bobby for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, cool nigga. Bobby, real. I don't care, yo. I hate when people try to bang on him because he's a realist. That was my second time interviewing him. He's, he's always a realist. Been great he's like to down interview. to earth. There's no weird shit with him. No extra nothing. Like yo, Bob, can you come over here? Yes, yes, wait. Yeah, yeah right yo, over there. Gotti. Everybody, yeah, yeah it was, it yeah, was yeah, an yo, amazing Gotti. experience. Uh, every, everybody came through. It was just like a, a real, real good look. So shout out to everybody that supported. Shout out to Kim. She boss 100. Shout out to Wack for the oh, West yeah. Coast hospitality. All the clubs. Shout out to the, the awards. It was real. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, real, real, real. It was real. All right. You understand what I'm saying? You know? And um, we here now, though. We got a real popular yeah. producer in the building right now. Real yeah. Popular. Heard a lot about you. Been hearing a lot of your shit. Word. And I didn't even know that you had anything to do with it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Be like that. So, you know, we in a time where the artist overshadows the producers and the DJs. Let's just yeah. be real. So you got to kind of stick your face out like, yo, nigga, this my shit. Yeah, it's a behind the scenes job. It's yeah. cool. You know what I'm saying? Mike Zombie's in the building, y'all. Hello, everybody. Mike what's Zombie. Poppin'? That's what's up. So where you representing now? Willingboro, New Jersey. Okay. South side of New Jersey. You know? All right, so you right up here. Yeah. All right. Took that's that what's ride. up. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, um, what's the latest joint that you produce that people the latest know joint? you but, but know you by? Um, DJ Khaled, they don't love you no more. With, okay. Uh, Hove on it. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I can curse, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You good up here? Khaled, um, French Montana and Rick Ross. So, that's a club banger. He was just ringing it off at LA. I was in LA too, by the way. I didn't get to see y'all, but yeah, it's okay. yeah, we was out there. He was fucking that joint. But that was the last joint I did. Okay, and what's some of the other joints you did? Started from the bottom. You okay. Know. Huge right. record. Yeah, yeah of course. Round of applause for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you don't um, be making, you know, like, I'm on some shit. When I make records now, I be like, yo, nigga, go back in or go email. Email me with you saying my name, nigga. So word. I can put on. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. niggas try to sweep you under the rug. Oh, now, nah, man. my tag is on both of them, Jones. I'm be on the track if you ain't know. Oh, so you got the, the you got the tag on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, my tag is on both of them things. Man, you need the, you need the artist to say your motherfucking name. <laughs> it stands out a little more. How word. does it sound? What's your tag? Like, how does it sound? It sounds like my, my voice high pitched. 
Okay. It's just me saying zombie on the chat, but it's okay. me like I pitched. We it gotta up. slow that shit down so we can slow just have it embedded in yeah. our brains yeah, like zombie on the I'm track. I'm gonna slow it down. For I didn't even know you so did start on the bottom. Yeah. I I didn't know that. Like I I I knew prior to you coming here. I'm saying, but when it was like out bank, like I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just figuring. Okay, that's some nigga from Canada. Some shit. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> thinks I'm from yeah, Canada, yeah, bro. You know what I'm okay. Everybody do. Why is that though? Yeah, why? Because the whole squad is from there. Okay. Yeah. So. But you did. That's not only uh, the, not the only artist you produce for though. Um, I only got two two big joints. Two, but two. Ka- Cal is not from Canada. Oh no 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 no! With them, yeah yeah yeah. Oh. Just that Drake joint, and I've been cooking with them since since then. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, so, you been down with Drake? Yeah. And the whole squad like, for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long now? Since I was twenty, so I say three years now. So okay. how old are you? Twenty three. Are you a young nigga, man? Yeah, you know. All right. I so, shaking and moving. So now. The the, uh, the burgundy hair Is that like Just the jersey Like fuck it Like nah. we, we, we doing <laughs> our own jersey. thing Like yo. Or, you, or you just like the color Yo you got my a lot favorite of... color is red Man yeah. niggas be thinking I'm blood yeah, I'm like yo Nah it's just my shit That's On West Coast it. You definitely get uh, And I, I really started wearing it Because of the New Jersey Devils You feel what I'm saying okay. oh, You like hockey I don't like hockey But I like New Jersey So Oh you just <laughs> representing I'm the same way Like yeah. yeah Every New York team Is my favorite team Exactly Yeah so I'm the same saying. way I could identify with so that So when I got the red hair It's gonna go with Whatever New Jersey attire I got Is on the Devils the at least dope Are they killing it out there I don't Nah know. the oh, Devils no. is, like the 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 oh, is like the Knicks Ah shit Devils is like the Knicks no real talk. I'm just being in the honey. hockey world. I'm from New York, so I'm saying like the Knicks. I'm not like a big. They like this the same way. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, yeah. hey, that sucks. Right. <laughs> but hey, to know it's red, then you're wearing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Eighty day shape, four five street sweeper radio. So look, let's. What you want to play, man? Um, I got a new project coming out. Uh, Friday It's on uh iTunes for pre order right now. I just premiered uh some new shit and it's called Victory Lap. It's a uh, anthem. Sports Center already got their eye on it, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be one of them okay. things. So you already know. I'm here goes here go victory lap. Fuck with it. Hey today, Shape Wolf Five, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slay. Drama King is in the building. Jazzy Bell TV's in the building. Yeah. Live on Shape Wolf Five. Live, baby. Mike Zombie's in the building. I'm here. Zombie on the track. Yeah, there we go. I heard she it. She got it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard the shit now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was kind of, we heard the it shit was kind now. of disguised before. You understand? <laughs> so I mean a real brief where the name come from um zombie well you know I'm, I'm still young so when I was in high school I got ADHD so a nigga used to take like Shatera Daytron all types of weird ass shit cause they used to say I was fucking off the wall and shit but really it was just like I didn't fuck with school so I used to be doing other shit so by high school I started taking the medicine and everybody was like, yo, he's like a zombie. Like, he, he, I, wouldn't, I would come to school, I wouldn't talk to nobody, I wouldn't say nothing to nobody. My appetite changed, but then I stopped taking that shit, but the name stuck with me while I was taking the medicine. So, okay. Wow, when did you stop taking it? I started taking that shit in third grade, <laughs> stopped in like fourth, back on in fifth, and then like my freshman year of school, and I was like, man, fuck that shit. That shit man, funny. they try to drug you up early. Right, they, they trying to do that early. to all these kids. Yeah, man, you got to stay woke, man. Yeah. Yeah. Early. They do. Because the drug administration is the biggest... Oh, I know. Money maker in the world. Oh, yeah. I know. So to get you so young at three or four, when you're supposed to be right, moving Energetic, around, right. and, supposed and, to be and, bugged out. Yeah, they try to calm they you down. No like, they be like, you? "Oh no, 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 no!" He shit it in his diaper <laughs> twice in one hour. He has so and so and so. He got to shit. He got to take so and so. these drugs. They yeah. tell him he has to take it for the it's rest crazy. of his life. Right, that right, shit right. is crazy. Right. I make you an addict, and And you know the crazy thing about it is, it's like they they'll diagnose you with some shit that. I make you after you take that it'll be side effects to that that you need something else right it's just like a, a never ending so cycle so of drugs now if you really was to do the math and like I, I've checked the statistics on this if you look to see how many people died from crack cocaine marijuana or pills throughout the year right yeah. or, or Percocets mm-hmm. with, right mm-hmm. then you go and you look of how many people died from over the counter and a prescribed drugs right. You see that more people die From that shit Than illegal drugs On the motherfucking street Right, you know? right. right. Real talk It's crazy Now I'm not just saying The computer's right there You look that motherfucking shit up <laughs> He looking up ISIS right now 
DJ Radio. Get your Google Spoogle on. Let me tell you on. something, man. Yo, shout out to CNN. No, That's I'm going to tell was... y'all niggas some real you know, fucking CNN. shit. You CNN.com? Exactly. Wrong, y'all man. niggas keep playing news. this street stupid shit if you fucking want to. But if you see any motherfucker looking at some ISIS shit or any kind of fucking terrorist shit, you better fucking call somebody. You understand right, what I'm saying? What like, you said, report them? Yeah, yo, let me tell you. See yo, something, say <clears throat> something? Yo, let me tell you something. You got any report, nigga, you got any, listen, any motherfucker looking doing? up CNN. ISIS or any terrorism <laughs> shit because my mother could be somewhere, my daughter, somebody, you motherfucking real. And I better not be there because I'll be the nigga that dive on that nigga before he blow everything up. Right. Fuck all that. You gonna die. <laughs> nigga, see a nigga about to kill everybody and y'all nigga stand there and look at him. Right. Nigga, take the chance, nigga. You going what you got to lose. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So all you motherfuckers out here playing with that faggot, punk, terrorist shit, man, go blow your mother up. Right. Go blow your kids up, motherfucker. Go do, you want to kill somebody? Kill your family. Don't be killing niggas' family. Yeah, they need to I be agree. selfish. Fuck yeah, innocent shit. people out here, man. Fuck y'all niggas. Fuck y'all. Whoever birthed y'all. Like, go just kill hey, yourself, but nigga. But they doing that. They using themselves as but they not kill, missiles and yeah, suicide but they not, bombers. But, listen, but they, they not they killing kill themselves. Them. Kill your family. So we don't have no more of y'all niggas coming they like probably They probably would do that. Family. They probably would send their like, sons and nieces and daughters in there with bombs. Because they killing themselves. It's just it's crazy. Just think this shit, yo, you seen that shit the niggas pulled at that airport? Yeah, that shit's crazy. I was crazy. pissed because when I landed, like when I woke up, I seen that even shit. Don't talk I'm about like, it. Hey, you know, I was on it's the way back. Boy. I was on the plane and it was so crazy because I'm telling That's my driver, I said, damn, that. Jazzy on the plane mm. and knowing her, she on the flight, like I'll be on with a TV. I hope she don't look at the news. You understand what I'm saying? Not like, to mention, they ran out of fuel and had to make an emergency stop in D.C. Geez. So a six hour flight ended up turning into a 10. And I'm like, out of all places, D.C., I don't want to be nowhere near the White House. I mean, no shade, but it's That's crazy it out here. At. Yeah. Should have left when I left. Said no shade. Nah, I had another exactly. bag to pick up the day right up, after. Man. You know what I'm saying? It was business. I, I was got, on BET right? dive. I wasn't on okay K Slay dive. Yeah, I got the fuck out of Dodge, yo. Yeah. Smooth. Time was up. Four hour and 50 <laughs> second flight. Nah, mine you know turned into a good 10 hour, man. Felt, good felt for you, but I couldn't reach you. <laughs> Mike Zombie in the Boy. building. What Mike is Zombie. What's the next joint we're going to get into? Um, let's go into Hella Crack featuring Mir- Mir- Trills. Hella Crack 2. The drama king is in the building. 80 Day Shape, 05, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, Drama King in the building. Jazzy Bell TV's in the building. Ooh, ooh. Mike Zombie in the building. The producer yep. and Jersey. rapper. K, that's him on them records. Like, Duh. Killing Duh. it. Duh. <laughs> Duh. I was just Duh. trying to share something that I probably thought you didn't know, but I'm going to keep it real. I didn't know, but we were talking off the mic. Yeah. And I was giving him props to 30, 60 million listeners we have. Maybe so, they didn't well, know. Well, when the so first, I'm sharing with them. Well, when yeah. the first, uh, he first came on, I looked over to him and was like, that's. Yeah. But you like, did. Yeah, like, but I'm, our listeners don't know Because I'm on point. You understand what I'm saying? Apparently, we both are because I did the same thing. But but, but we was going to get to that during the interview. You and the interview is now. now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and Jazzy Bell says. Are you trying to pull a, you pulling the Kanye on us? What you doing? I am pulling the Kanye, man. I'm not even mm. trying to be honest. Okay. Not even trying to be not honest? Not even trying. <laughs> is, is this your first project uh, with you actually, like, you know? Nah, this is my third. Like, I with, did, you, with you rapping on it? yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one. I'm going to play one of the tracks from the first one that's still going crazy. It's called mm-hmm. 616. Probably do that after this. And then um, i just been spazzing, bro. Like, I haven't really done any major tracks with nobody. Like, I've done this all by myself. Everything is out of pocket. I do everything. So you doing myself. the beats and you, you rapping on them. And I'm designing everything. I'm doing merch by myself. You sound, like, you sound like me. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, one man stop, army. One stop shop, you know what I mean? It's, it's almost like you got to do it like that till you get it not where you want it to be, but... Over, so mm-hmm. if somebody fucks up, right? Your shit when you put them in position, it still don't hurt you, right? You understand? What you I'm ain't saying? got nobody to blame, but who? Exactly, that man me. in the fucking the mirror. mirror. Exactly, and <laughs> right. that's, that, that's how Shameless I am. Plan. I like things like that, man, because I don't like leaving shit up to other people to do. Because if they do it wrong, I'm be mad, yo, and then yeah, it's right, yo. Look, Mike, I still take like I got straight set magazine. We are gonna pass a magazine. Uh, 
I go to the post office and send them to my brother. Yo, down you're myself. a legend because I used to talk to a girl from Straight Stunting Magazine, and I was just so excited, like a little boy, you know what I mean? When because I she was in Straight Stunting? Yes, that's the only reason I why I I love that he said that. I always <laughs> used to say that in my interviews when I, you know, used to do my modeling thing. I used to be like, some of the rappers or producers, they're like groupies for us. Because I feel like, not to like call you a group, but it's cool. Like no, to no, say, I understand Like you feel what I'm saying? Cause this it's Miss like Cat we right here? Ba- yeah, Miss Cat. See, I'm, I used to go to school with her cousin. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I mean? This world is so little. Yeah. See, but that's the reason why. Because we get why. the bad rap. Like, the girls is like, oh, y'all nah. whores, y'all groupies. Hey, look. Y'all wanna f-. I'm like, no, they want to fuck us. They're yeah. sliding our DMs. Let's but, be clear. You know what it is? We got to shoot our shot. It's the, it's yeah. <laughs> but let's. I, I just feel like we get a bad rap, so I always like to you know, rap for the ladies. Like, yo, the fellas really be coming at us, yo. Because I had rappers come to me like, yo, you know who I am? I'm like, no. But they know everything about me because of a straight stunt article. Right. They're like, yeah. you have seven brothers. You're from Detroit. Yo, I fucks with you. You see mad cool. I'm like, you low key a groupie, but that's what's up. But look, this is what you gotta understand. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, I I, I appreciate them. And I appreciate brothers oh, like I that. Love because it. like you'd be surprised how many niggas is fans of other niggas these days. Oh, you mean like on the flip side of town? No, 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 I'm saying oh, no, I'm, I know, I'm talking about oh. like even when you in the club. <laughs> Like motherfuckers, uh-huh. like, like niggas that's is weird. Man. Trying to like it be chicks trying to get to the VIP next to the art, and they can't get there because it's a bunch of niggas ahead of them trying to get over there. Like motherfuckers, it's kind, it's oh, kind of what you saying. It's yeah. kind of shifted. So when you find brothers that really like are interested and read the articles about yeah, women, I, I fuck with them. I you understand too. what I'm saying? Like I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Like and. As far as the ladies' situation is concerned, when anytime somebody tries to say anything, you can easily tell them, "Look, bitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> what you what you put on when you go to the beach, huh?" True. Okay, then it's yeah. no different than what I got on this map. My pussy ain't out. Right. My nipples ain't out. I was about to say this is, it, it, this is classy. This is classy. Exactly. So when you like, don't confuse urban modeling with stripping. Right. And even when it comes to or stripping in New York, in New York, like mm-hmm. and even because you, stri- I know chicks that got houses bigger than a lot of niggas and yeah. Bentleys and all that, and they just sell fantasy. And at the end of the night, they ain't going home to fuck nobody. They got a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't put everybody inside the same Box. boat. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like you got some people that do what they do. That's their business. But why are you worried about and it? And who are you to judge? And half the people How that, you getting your coins? And half the people that who hate you sucking. When you see that <laughs> half the people that hate their their, their avatar, the, the, that's what they call Avi Avatar, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is uh-huh. cut from their neck up. That's because you they ain't got no shape. <laughs> You, know you SpongeBob, they ain't got no shape. They, they, they act or they no shit just something else because they yeah. fucking ugly. Yeah. yeah. So those worry, be the ones. Don't worry in the about comments. other people's wow, shape and <laughs> what they doing and everything. Like, to each his own, man. Business, ain't nobody hurting nobody. It, 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 oh, oh, and you know the biggest reason why a lot of them do hate though, why? and I can semi uh, understand them because their men are stressing y'all. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of niggas that I pass a magazine and they'll be going through it. I'll be like, damn, nigga, wait till you get nigga. I can't take this shit on. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, my cousin I shit. I cause a lot of arguments, man. Yeah, my cousin just like, yeah, that fucking magazine got me cursed out for a whole two I weeks. I can't take it on. But this is the thing that's crazy. Ladies, embrace the magazine and what you do like. Look at what some of the ladies do. Why don't you just come home one night ahead of your dude Emily. and have one of them outfits on? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And recreate And do the some fantasy. other shit. See, y'all get comfortable with a nigga and then y'all don't want to entertain him the way y'all did when he first got with y'all. That's why a nigga go looking for shit elsewhere. You think that's true? You understand zombie? what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. It's yeah. insecurity issues. Yeah. Once you let that go, a relationship will last as long as you let life, it, life do it. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, like you want to get into a relationship with a nigga, you want to give him head, let him hit the pussy, let him hit the butthole, <laughs> and then after you're in a relationship with him two years, I don't feel like sex tonight. Damn, two or years? Or you, you give a nigga three motherfucking swaps ahead and then talk about- Three swaps? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like yeah, you don't want to- He's he like, talking about a cotton swab. Yeah, three like, swaps. Yo, and then they, they, like, you don't want to- Like, y'all get comfortable so a nigga like, oh, nah, see, I ain't sign up for this shit. I, I'm locked in this, so you know what? Nigga get to doing other shit. Right. I'm just giving y'all game. Word. You know what is so I'm crazy, Kay? You speak as 
facts because that's how Jazzy Bell was created. I would come home. I was with a dude back then, and he was a huge fan of the Urban Models and the magazines and all that. And I'm like, yo, this nigga tripping. I'm a bad bitch over here. Like, right. word? I'm going to show his ass. And it was just one of those things, like payback, like I'm going to get in here. and But I knew once I got in, I didn't want to be like the best Urban Model. That was never my thing. But mm-hmm. I wanted to go in, hustle, figure out a way to maintain, you know what I'm saying, my yeah. name and, and relevance. So, it was crazy. I did it starting off initially just to prove a point. Well, shout exactly. out to him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, rest in peace to him. He actually did. Oh, oh damn. God. Condolences, condolences, Shit. condolences. Not to break it down. Damn. I ain't seen him in over 10 years. Shit. Shit's water. Shit just got real. Oh, man. Damn. <laughs> it wasn't like yeah. that though. God, <laughs> damn. Hey, yeah. All that, all that, all that, all that. God. Man, rest in peace to him. We about to play a record, y'all. What we going into, Mike Zombie? Boy, Mike Zombie. Yo, yo. You crazy? <laughs> this is one of the biggest joints ringing right now when it comes to me. This 616 right here. Get, get a drink to this one. Street Sweeper Radio. Shade 45. Hey, listen, 888-SHAPE-05, Street Sweeper Radio, K. Slate, Jarvis King in the building, Jazzy Bell TV in the building. Ooh, Fellas, yeah, yeah. let me tell you something. <laughs> you got options. If you love a chick, yeah. right, and y'all part ways or whatever, you got options. Ladies, too, you have options. Listen, you get a badder chick, right? Right. You get a badder chick. Some things are irreplaceable. Right? Listen, you get a badder chick, right, or you just motherfucking go out there and do your thing. You understand what I'm saying, and you and don't don't block her on Instagram and social media. Let her see that yeah. shit. Yeah, Definitely. you got to stun on. You, you got to turn your stun life on. Up. You know what I'm saying? Ladies like exactly. Too. Ladies don't too. don't motherfucking get bitter and start losing weight and start talking or about trying weight. to kill a bitch or any kind of shit and stalking and all that. Nah, man, you representing a weak nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you supposed to be true. the backbone of a situation. Chicks don't like weak niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like every now and then, a chick likes a nigga that could put them in their place. You understand right. what I'm saying? They don't want to feel like they could run over you all the time. Because if they could run over you all the time, that means they the man. And you the woman. Word. You understand what I'm saying? So when y'all niggas out here, man, threatening. Like I just see, yo, it was crazy. Wow. Like when we was in um, L.A., so uh-huh. that's my nigga Wack. I came out the bathroom. I'm standing there while y'all had your little thing going on with them girls. And it was a nigga... <laughs> Ran over there, he grabbed this chick by her arm, and he was like, motherfucker, you playing me with this sucker nigga, don't have me kill a nigga. And he's like, like, he was talking, I'm looking at this nigga like, nigga. Oh, Lord. Like, he was talking crazy, but she was looking at him with a smirk on her face. She like, loving it every yeah. second of and it. Yeah, and I'm saying, damn. <laughs> see, I son, wasn't like you that. You don't see the, you Tell don't me you gonna slap me, nigga. You don't <laughs> see what you, what, love what, me to death. You don't see what's Literally, going on. love me to death. Like, like you what? don't see what's going on. That shit you doing, man, you, you gave her the power right there, so now she already know, all I gotta do is, Drag my butt in front of a nigga face, and you gonna go and you're crazy. Gonna respond and react. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, that's not and that's not cool. I mean, she's a lame bitch for that as well. Let's no, be clear. No, be on that. Whatever, no, that's whatever some she corny did, shit for her. She had dude out do. of character, and I'm sitting there like, damn man. But that that's no me. kudos to her. She shouldn't be smirking at it that is. because if you love him, you're gonna cause for him to either get hurt or be, get locked up, and or go or or, or get end another up dead. nigga hurt. Yeah, or get yourself hurt, bitch. Bullets ain't got no name more to keep right. playing. I made a post about that shit today. Put that damn smirk on your face. Slap the shit off. Yeah, I made a post about that shit today. How motherfucking chicks, um, they'll, they'll be with you or shit mm-hmm. goes wrong. They ain't with you no more. Right. Then they get with an Ike Turner. He start busting your fucking head. Then you wanna <laughs> you wanna go to the last nigga and tell him about what? Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> get, bitch! You better dial nine one one because Word what up. you trying now? You trying to get somebody killed? And guess what? After I kill him or he kill me, you gonna oh, be God. riding another nigga dick, right? And even one of them, I'm gonna be in jail, he gonna be dead, or vice versa. Then you gonna be riding. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's that's karma. Guys, that's that's one. karma for your ass. Yeah, but guys, be smart. You know the ladies saying? y'all choosing out here, smart enough. It just has nothing to do with the ladies choosing. Women get emotional, and women get emotional. And they they don't fucking think, when yo. They get Some of them yeah. don't think like real talk. You know, can a nigga out here say that they've never been in a situation with a woman where a woman just. Uh, get so angry that she fucking just forgets about everything. Like, they'll call the cops on you, and then like you could have a warrant, and then after you arrested, then they say, "No, I want to drop I'm charges." Sorry. Bitch, I had a warrant. I'm it's too sorry, late. Daddy. I done violated. I didn't like, mean I'm it, in daddy. here. Yeah, now right. you want to start talking about no? I, 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 I don't want to. Like, I don't want to. Wanna, c- yeah, testify. Yeah, oh, so you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm sorry, daddy. Look at you got us both into. <laughs> 
see what I mean? You see what I mean? Now this nigga is already. I'm gonna just play it off I while I do this bit. While she comes see me, but when I get out, I'm gonna go kill this bitch <laughs> because she done got me by. See, that's the shit that nigga go through a nigga head now. Cause now, no, you're right about that. That scenario yo, definitely. But I mean, as far as a girl dead, dealing man. with you and it not working out, and her wanting to go to the next dude and that not working out because he beating her ass and she's calling you again to come and save her, like that's corny. You know what? Check this out. You got a nigga, you got this big old dumb nigga with your last name because you follow after him. Call your daddy. You know what I'm saying? You got this big dumb nigga because you take after him. He has to be a dummy if you's a dummy. (laughs) Call that nigga. Or you got some other big head nigga that look just like you if you cut your hair off, your brother. You understand what I'm saying? (laughs) Or that motherfucker. (laughs) Oh, that, that rough sister you had that was cutting bitches oh, out. Call, some, call your family. Sister, the rough call sister, your the family rough members. Sister. Call your motherfucking you family members. You agree with this, Mike yo, Zombie? Yo. Yo, call your family. Oh, you feel like Mike. You feel like you should go bust your gut with somebody <laughs> nah, that was just man. getting nutted in by another nigga nah, after y'all fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Get all the way fuck out of here. I ain't boo boo the fool. Get the fuck out of here. Yo. Get all the way the fuck out of here. <laughs> he is Phil. He an old one right yo, now. No. Yo, they Slay, don't get down like that in Jersey, Slay huh? in his bag. But I don't get like get down like that. Like, no, nah, no, nah, we not <laughs> doing Slay that. Mike Zombie is in the building, rapper, producer. And it ain't shape of Fox Station Brand. We got another guest get ready to come up. But before you go, nigga, we're going to play some. Like, hold on. We got to hold on. I got to ask you a couple questions. What's yeah. up? Um, who is your favorite artist? Coming up as a youth, Eminem was the first album I bought. Uh, Curtains closed. Okay. Man, I cried because I couldn't go see Eight Mile. That's how how little I was. How much I yeah. loved rap then. Yeah, um, you were only twenty three. That's right. Yeah, so that yeah. was kind of vulgar for you. That was my shit. Uh, okay. Kanye, Drake, and Wayne. Those are my top four. And Jay. Oh, so that's your that's, your, that's, that's your my top, top four five. Artists? All right. R and B, not dead or alive, and all that other order shit, but just that's Man, it. Just, 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 yeah, I don't really go by order. I just like who I like. What about R and B artists? R and B artists, uh, right now, Party Next Door. Um, back in the day, I would say Usher. Um, okay, no, nah, I'm still I'm Usher. Is still oh yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. He the closest um, thing we got to keep R and B alive. R and B right yeah. now, like right, right, right. right that's right. a good one. Uh, uh, Bryson Tiller's going crazy right now. Fuck don't. Him. Yeah, <laughs> he's going don't. crazy right now. Um, yo, pretty Ricky, man. Them niggas, yo, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, you just introduced. Did you just uh, I interviewed one of them, wasn't it? Spectacular, what? I think. Was oh his yeah, name. yeah. I met him like back in like a couple years ago. We cool as shit. Yeah. Them niggas is classic, man. I got a lot of uh, young teenage booty to that to that okay. little city right there. All um, right. Who else? That's uh, interesting because see, he's young, so that's something he could. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. What about Menudo? Menudo. Now, that, that was too. Nah, nah. You wasn't that. You ain't that. That's oh, you know what I'm saying? I went too far. Well, as a producer, do you have like a far. dream <laughs> artist like that you would want to work with, like a dream collaboration as a producer? Um, Eminem, Wayne, Beyonce. There's so many, man. You know the top people like Madonna. That would be some crazy shit, man. You know it's crazy. I said in another interview that I would do anything to work with Prince, and it sucks that he's uh, going now, dog. Yeah. For real, for real. So, um, Yo, this fool was fucking crying. You know, I had to get off the phone. Like, why well, I gotta be a fool? Because, you know I love Prince. Yeah, but no, no, no. But hold on. What was at the award Sobbing. show? Three, four days. No, I was tear jerker. Jazz. I was tear jerker. It might have been because we was at the BET Awards and it was the Prince tribute. Oh, so yeah. how can you not? Yo, we Mike, live your yo, Mike, emotions which, which one? from initially hearing was, about when it. Jazz was up there? When Jennifer Hudson was up there. Yo, Mike. Purple Rain. Jazz. Come yo, Mike. Oh, Jennifer Hudson. Check yeah, this yeah. out, Mike. K was like, cut about the bullshit, yo. Cut the bullshit. So insensitive. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, K, that, you that know how shit. you'll be. Yo, yo, get over there with that shit, yo. I'm like, K. Keep that emotional <laughs> shit away from Yo, me Mike. Like, two or three so days later, Jeez. after he was passed, he still was feeling down. That ain't your fucking cousin. Get the fuck out of here. You got one day. You know what I'm saying? You got one day. You got one day to let it go. It's like almost like she ain't want to go to work. She ain't want to eat. Like she was going no. through that shit. And now you I'm over like, exaggerated. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Over exaggerated. You can't tell a person how to mourn. Okay? You don't even met him before. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Cut a mic off, yo. <laughs> it ain't shameful by Street Super Radio. Mike Zombie. We want to thank ever. you for coming through, man. You already know, man. Um, what, what joint you want to go out to? Warning, 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 warning. The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.